like to call the meeting to order at 6.14. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Supervisor Artie Bryson is not going to be here tonight, so he is absent excused. Mark Bouchard? Here. Maureen Mori? Here. Joanne Shirky? Here. Christy Hilton? Here. Chris O'Regan? Here. Cindy Valentine? Here. And in his absence, we need someone to chair the meeting. I'll make a motion that we have Chris O'Regan chair the meeting for this evening. I support. Trustee O'Regan, would you do the honors to chair the meeting? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. Sorry, folks, you're stuck with me. <laughs> the first order of business tonight um, has to do with the North Channel um, bridge and paving project. We have a public hearing. So, at this time, I will entertain a motion to open the public hearing. I'll make a motion to open the public hearing at 6.15 p.m. Support. We have motion and support. Um, do we have roll call? Um, I can do roll call. Joanne Shirky? Yes. Christy Hilton? Yes. Chris O'Regan? Yes. Cindy Valentine? Yes. Mark Richard? Yes. Maureen Moore? Yes. Motion passes. We will open the public hearing. So at this time, um, we welcome any comments. Any discussion? Um, all we'd ask you to do is uh, step up, state your name and address, and what's on your mind. Okay. Where, where do you want me to stand? Wherever you'd like, sir. We, we seem to be short of podium this afternoon. That's fine. So as long as you can project. Uh, we'll... I, oh, I'm good at that. Great. Name's Rod Bovency. Uh, I'm kind of the point man for this project. Been working on it for a little over a year trying to get things taken care of. Okay, could you state your address for me, please? <laughs> the address on the island or my real address? Um, yeah. On the island is fine. 3030 North Channel West. Thank you. Okay. Um, I just want to make sure that if you have any questions about this project, that you throw them at me so we can get this resolved and get it done because we're kind of in dire straits, at least for the bridge portion of the project. The paving of the other road is a, uh, it needs it, but not quite as desperately as the bridge. I mean, if we don't do the bridge road, we're not going to need the other road because we're not going to be getting there. Okay? So if there's any questions you have uh, about this, I would certainly feel them at this point. Um, you know, how we came up with, how we designed it, how we picked our contract. Anything that you you might have questions on, I'm here to answer them for you. So normally we restrict the hearing to approximately three minutes, but in okay. this case, because you're point man, I'd like to know a little more about how this project came to be. I'm assuming that the road has deteriorated beyond a reasonable impasse, and the bridge is just it's it's wearing out for a lack well, of a better you, word. Um, initially started with the, we call it a bridge tube, it, it is a, it's a piece of CMP, corrugated metal pipe tube, yep. okay. Uh, my concern was the, the age of the tube and its life expectancy mm -hmm. and it, it runs anywhere from 30 to 70 years depending on quality of construction and everything else. So, in talking with the neighbors, we decided that we're going to do a, a, an assessment of the, 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 tube. the tube. So I had two engineering firms look at it. Both of them said, you're good to go. There's no evidence of rust, no evidence of failure, no evidence of squishing, which would, from the road. But we do have a large hump, which everybody said, well, the, the tube is coming out of the ground. Well, it's not coming out of the ground. The ground is going away. It's sinking. I mean, okay. the island's a peat bog, right? Yep. Or, or close to it. 
So after we determined that the, the tube was adequate, uh, we decided that we were going to go ahead and look at having the road paved over that tube. Okay. Uh, looked at a few contractors. Not many were interested. Mm -hmm. Actually, nobody was except for one gentleman, Robert Clancy. Uh, came highly recommended. So I met with Robert and uh, we discussed uh, uh, what we need to do. Okay. My, I gave him my vision, he gave me his vision. I'm a, I, have a, I work for the engineering, depart, engineering department for the city of Troy for 14 years. So I have an understanding of road construction and, and everything else. So we came to the determination that we needed a barrier to stop people from driving off it, yep. which we have a guardrail there now, but it's a, a questionable at best. So we decided we were going to use Gambian baskets, which are a metal basket that you fill with rocks. So if you hit that, you're hitting a few tons of rock to, to stop you from falling off. And they use Gambian baskets for a multitude of things, make break walls out of them, decoration, yep. a lot of different things. So uh, Robert said that he would put the Gambian baskets in, dress off of the banks, Gambian baskets, elevate the road itself so we would get cover onto the bridge, because without cover you could crush the bridge with weight, mm -hmm. and then uh, get about a foot of cover on it, take that point to, to Cottage Lane and then take it out and give it a nice taper. That being said, that's that project. We said, okay, put it, he's gonna put, I think it was four inches of asphalt, I don't know how many lifts, probably two lifts. Um, and then the road to the west, is that right? Is that west? Mm -hmm. west the east. Yeah, west, the west is already paved. It was done 20 years ago. The road is starting to wear, we get some potholes. Um, Fran fills them in for right now and it needs to be uh, wedged, potholes fixed, wedged. We're going to make a better shoulder on it, and then I think we were looking at two and a half inches of asphalt on top of the existing asphalt. Okay. All right, so it's a need to get, we need to get to our houses, because if we don't, then the taxes are zero, because they're not worth anything, right? Right, so you have your contractor selected. Have the contractor selected. I understand we have a price. We have a price, and I just got an email that they sent to the township, and it looks like it stayed, which I, is great because, it's, like I said, it's been over a year. Mm -hmm. The only problem that we had was that the bonding issue, that it was two separate projects. Mm -hmm. And I had a three-way conversation with the contractor, myself, and Artie Bryson, and the contractor asked if we could combine for the aspect of having one bond for both projects, and Art said that that's not a problem. I don't know that that happened or didn't happen. I haven't heard either way. No, I haven't talked to either one of them, but it, I wouldn't foresee it's a problem. I mean, the special assessment is broken out in two different districts because of the, you know, only certain ones are paying right. for the other. So, you know, we can, I can talk with them and talk with, um, John Monty, because he was doing, I think he's he doing yeah, the bonds. He's not out of it. He's not doing the bonds for See, No, he's okay. a, 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 either you talk to, to Robert talk Clancy to, or Steve. Yeah. Okay, Steve oh. was who I talked to Okay, before. and the last we spoke, he, uh, Steve asked Art, who's holding up the project? And Art says, you are. And he, he said, I need the bonds by today. And obviously, they didn't show up. If you haven't seen them. No, but I can check with them tomorrow. But I don't foresee that that would be a problem, you know, regarding the reason that we have these separated for special assessments. So. Okay. All right. I can, I'm sorry. I, I didn't make the introduction. Do you know? I know. Sir, I do. Yeah, we're, we're best friends. <laughs> uh, fantastic. I, I sh we've been should preach that, but yeah, that, that's yeah. fantastic. We've been She's talking. not shy. You had, you had a concern about dollars or bonding, if I understood your. No concern, Correct. just okay. a point of discussion. Oh, okay. All right. The length of terms, if okay. you will. The length of the bond. Okay. Yep, and as a board, um, I believe we'll be looking at those as separate issues this evening. Okay. Although all of it is up for discussion. 
Okay. But because your committee is asking for assistance from the township, yeah, we're we have an obligation right. to go through that process. Right, right. It's also my understanding that this is the second public hearing on this? No. No, this is the first one. This, this is the first. Yeah, there will be another one. Then we have to have another public hearing uh, by law. So, yeah. right. um, so this won't be a final, but this is where we can work out some of the details okay. on the process. And that's where you'll, you, you as a board will decide whether you're going to self-fund it or you're going to sell bonds. I can promise you we will discuss it. Okay. I don't know that we'll resolve it. Uh, that's up to the board. Um, certainly uh, all the board members have equal say. So there will be a discussion on it this evening. And if we reach a point of we feel like we can vote on it, then we will. Okay, then what's the, I, 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 the confusion? If you decide one way or the other tonight for the bonding issue. Our, our goal tonight, that. yeah, our goal tonight is determine the terms so that we can move forward with all the other information that needs to come forth. Um, Sherry still has a lot of work to do on both of these special assessments, but to get there, she needs to know the terms that so the board can, wants to set. So, so we can schedule the second public hearing. We need to feel comfortable that the work is going to last throughout the terms that we set for it. We don't want you paying on something 20 years from now when it deteriorated after 10. I, I under, understand that thought process, but my confusion is in talking to Artie, the bond was for a year to make sure that the job was done that, and that the contractors got paid. The surety bond. Yeah. The surety bond. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. All right. So after you discuss, I, I'm, discuss how long the are we waiting between the next? You know, I, my concern is this, and I'll be quietly frank with you. Yeah, please. My concern is this: this is Robert Clancy's held the price for a year on yep. this thing. Yep. And if we drag it out, yep. we're gonna with this COVID thing, and everybody's blaming everything on COVID, but it's happening that the price is going to go up yeah and we're going to be you know we're, we either we're cut a project or or start over again i understand and respect your concerns okay if you want the township's help we have rules that we must follow and that involves a second public hearing can uh, we do it I, I, you, you, you're, you're mistaken my what i just said i okay. totally understand Okay. I, I did this. I was a revenuer also when I worked for the oh, city. Oh, great. Okay. I you probably know more than I do. The, all, all that. My son is the head of the DPW at the city of Troy, and he helps direct stuff. Okay. Okay. So, and I, I understand that. I guess I, my concern is, is that it happens in a timely fashion. Mm -hmm. Okay. I understand there needs to be another hearing. I mean, you guys could decide it tonight, or you could wait a week or two weeks or three weeks to decide it, right? Timely fashion is what I'm asking for, okay? It, as appointed chair for this evening, it is, our, it is my intention to get this terms resolved tonight. Okay. But we need a majority vote. Okay. And I can't I give understand. you the decision of that vote until we take it. I understand. So you may walk out of here with everything you're looking for this evening. Okay. I just can't say that yet. Okay. Okay? All right. Thanks for the opportunity. Yeah, you bet. Thank you. Uh, we open the floor for more public discussion. Thoughts? Yeah. Comments? Folks? Anything on your mind? Anything you'd like to discuss regarding the public hearing? Yes, sir. Please. Uh, Chuck Miller. Yeah, and I'm not familiar with the project at all. <clears throat> I'm wondering if he mentioned that there was a quote for the price. He had obtained some estimate. Can you give me tonight, is that something that's public that you could provide us with as other people around? The, what What are we talking about? Is this a $300,000 project or a $40,000 project? What is it? I, I don't have the, do you have the bid Yes. from the Robert Clancy? Right, so the cost of the bridge, the quote, the initial quote is $90,125, and then the paving was 
Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Anything else? Anything more from the, the table? That information is on the website too, sir. Thank you. So you can always see all these all these figures that we look at. Okay. If we have no more comments, then I will make a motion or entertain a motion to close public hearing. Make a motion to close the public hearing for the North Channel West Bridge and Paving at 629 p.m. Support. Sorry. Motion and support. Um, I think we can do it all. all, all. Can we do it? I don't think. Okay. Roll Mark call. Bouchard. All in favor? Mark Bouchard. Maureen Moore. Aye. Christy yes. Hilton. Yes. Joanne Shirky. Yes. Chris O'Regan. Yes. Cindy Valentine. Yes. The public hearing is now closed. Okay. Next on the agenda, we have bills payable. I will entertain a motion on bills payable. I'll make a motion to pay bills payable in the amount of one hundred fifty thousand fifty-eight dollars and five cents. Support. We have motion and support. Any discussion? Mark, Maureen. No. I had a uh, question on the uh, damage to the explorer. On the what? Damage to the explorer. For two thousand nine hundred nineteen dollars for. Uh, here, the I didn't know we had an accident in the Explorer. That's the only question I have. Um, that was the deer. Yeah, I think it was a deer too. It was the police. Yeah. police vehicle. So I wish the chief was here, but he's out this evening. Uh, oddly enough, it is the same car that hit a deer in the same spot as they did probably a year ago. Wasn't the same deer. Well, we're hoping not. So we have a deer. If it is, we won't be hitting it again because that one's definitely gone. We have to get a hold of the coat boys or something. That's not covered under insurance. It is. We already is. received the reimbursement. Oh, yes. Okay. So it's basically money in, money out. Okay. Any more discussion? Okay. Uh, roll call. Christy Hilton? Yes. Chris O'Regan? Yes. Cindy Valentine? Yes. Mark Bouchard? Yes. Maureen Borey? Yes. Joanne Shirky? Yes. Great. The motion passes. Next we have the supervisor's report. And uh, already did leave something for us to um, discuss or review. So I will, I will add lib in his terms. So FYI, as of 10-14-21. First order is working on the waterline project in easements to bring a second feed to Harsons Island. Um, next bullet point, uh, water department installed the hatch covers on Anchor Bay Drive. It was a big job that took an excavator to lift the hatches. Um, third order is working on the car and truck leases. Um, that was the program, if you recall, we set up for the DPW and the police department. Um, availability seems to be the biggest hurdle in this, um, but I understand they're working on the chip shortage and hopefully with any luck at all we'll, we'll have more availability and institute that program shortly. Uh, dealing with building and blight issues, of course with our building official. Um, working on the Clay Township Bicentennial Celebration. Uh, remember, honor, and celebrate is the slogan this year. The 200-year plaque was ordered. That's the thing we had in the last meeting, correct? We approved that. And we are registered with the Michigan Historical Society as a township. Um, the Clay Township fall cleanup uh, was this past month. We took nine dumpsters off the island, plus we burned a substantial amount of, of debris. About 75 tires and lots of oil and other fluids were also taken from the township. Um, the sixth annual Scarecrow Festival is scheduled for Saturday, October 30th. It's from noon to four. Uh, some of the highlights include um, the Paw Patrol will be on site for the Little Tykes. Um, we will have a large Make and Take Scarecrows. Um, we're looking at free face painting uh, with Chantel. She's a, a crowd favorite. The giant 65-foot inflatable obstacle course um, there's a trainless 
I'm sorry, a trackless train that will provide rides around the park. park. Um, there's an escape room for all ages, uh, pumpkin science, uh, Steve Lindsay interactive uh, DJ and music on stage. There's also a scarecrow contest. The registration deadline is 6 p.m. on October 27th. Uh, as well as there's some dog and costume and parades at 2 o'clock with the pre-registration preferred. If you have questions, you can look us up uh, on our website where you'll find additional information. So that's all for the supervisor's report. Next, we'd like to open up the floor for public comments. So at this time, do we have any public comments? We would simply ask you to state your name and address. Let us know what's on your mind. Public comments? Public comments? Hearing none? Then we will move forward with the next order on the agenda is the consent agenda. Make a motion to approve the consent agenda consisting of the minutes from the board meeting of 10-4-21. Um, the board approved checks cut on 10-4 and checks cut in between meetings. Support. We have motion and support on the consent agenda. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, any opposed? Hearing none. Since we have no unfinished business, next we'll move into the new business. So item 1A on our agenda has to do with the water plants. Uh, specifically, uh, it has to do with the Algonac, the water treatment plant, and the filter upgrade. Did everybody get the memo yep. from Denise that, and, and really it was from Andy, the water plant superintendent? Mm -hmm. So apparently we need some maintenance um, at, a, at a pretty substantial cost. Um, so I'll just share with, with the public. Um, the membrane filter main uh, PLC control panel and the four individual filler PLC control panels needs an upgrade. These are originally installed in 2000 and it is now out of support. Also the new newly converted VFD on the high service pump number three is added to the SCANDA system. So what we have here is a proposal for the maintenance of the uh, water treatment plant. The proposal is from a company called Scanda, who also helped us with our, our previous upgrades, I believe. Um, the proposal uh, set before us is looking for approval. Um, the cost of this proposal is $103,120 of which we share, refresh my memory, 35% of that? 60. 60. Oh, wait, 60, 62 and a half. 62 and a half percent of that cost? Mm -hmm. that didn't go up. I think it went up this year to 64. We might be at 64% of the proposal set before us. So it was a little choppy, but that's, 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 the, that's the agenda item set before us. Um, and I will, I will entertain a motion. I'll make a motion to postpone this, um, only because there's only one estimate. I mean, it's our. I, I understand they reached out to a couple other companies, um, and that they haven't received a response back. But this is from September 30th. Um, it's only been a couple of weeks. You know, for a hundred thousand dollar project, they just got this quote on September 30th. Um, you know, I would like to give those other companies an opportunity to respond at least. I support that motion. So we have a motion for postponement of the PLC upgrade, and we have support. So now we can entertain discussion. Um, Maureen, do you have thoughts about this? Is there anyone else we can reach out to since these other two companies are getting back with us? I mean, how can we well, find out who all the competitors are? So when you're dealing with, we'll call it 
sensitive matter like this, they have their, their stable of vendors, right? Mm -hmm. That they've, they've vetted and, and they, they're used to dealing with. And I know as a trustee that we've dealt a lot with Kennedy. Mm -hmm. And our DPW has dealt a lot with Kennedy. Um, and, and UIS is reputable as well. Um, I support the motion set before us. Um, I would love to see another bid, only because of my pure ignorance. I, I, $103,120 may be a great deal. Right. But I, I don't know that. Well, we need more information. I wish that John was here, but I hear he's not available either. So uh, he could have answered some of the questions. However, that well, being said, actually, uh, Mark, hundred, the $103,000 uh, is divided somewhat between Clay Township and Algonac. So what would our portion be? So I, I believe it's about 64%. So we'll call it the lion's share mm -hmm. of the upgrade. So I did talk to Superintendent DeBoyer today, and he just found out about this quote. They didn't even run it by him before they sent it over for us to put it on the board meeting. There's definitely a disconnect between Algonac Water and our... Uh, so meeting. he did try and reach out to Andy at the Algonac Water Plant today, but Andy was off today. So he didn't have a whole lot of additional information, um, which is another part of the reason why I was recommending the postponement. I, I, I just think there's more information to be, to be found about that before I we make a decision for that kind of money. I agree. Christy, did you have anything you wanted to add? I just know uh, from previous experience that the SCADA is like code to the water department. Okay. Um, so I know that the people who do that are few and far between and very expensive. Okay. So UIS is the company that quoted it. Yes, correct. Well, are we sure about that? Yeah, it's UIS data. Oh, they're one and the same. Yeah. Okay, so it's I our see. system. In the memo, data. then our so system is called the we have Kennedy Industries and Dupont are two of the bids that would make this a lot easier decision for us. Okay. Well, I'd also like to know whether or not, because the system is out of support, what danger are we in? Is there an emergency at this point in time, or is it something that can be stretched out for uh, till next month? Or what's the case? That's another important issue that we need to resolve with or without a board meeting. I think when it says that it's out of, out of, uh, what's the phrase? That out of using? support, it says. Out of support. If so something that, were to go wrong, right. They don't we have would any, be in trouble. Right. So. Okay, so from what I'm hearing, we have motion and support, and we're going to take a roll call on this um, regarding the postponement, the postponement of this request. But let's be clear as a board, are we going to are we going to re-engage this when we have at least a second bid? Or as a board, do we want to see three bids before we're willing to make a decision? And I don't even know that we need, I don't want to overanalyze it, but I well, certainly need at least a second bid. Look, let's, entertain, got. let's entertain this. If we get more information within the next couple of days, we can hold an emergency session on the board and approve it, or just order and say forget it. Okay. If we find out that we are definitely in dire needs of, of this being done immediately, right now I don't, I don't know. I actually um, have to attend a meeting tomorrow with Denise, so I can certainly um, ask her about it a little bit more and maybe get a little bit more in-depth answers than you know, and information than we currently have. Um, yes, and if need be, you know, if it's if it's an emergent need, then we certainly could do a special board meeting. I, I'm not getting the feeling that it's an urgent immediate need, but it's something they definitely want to address quickly. Okay. Well, so, if we've worked with Kennedy Industries before, if we can at least get an answer from them, I mean, I, if you've been happy with their work, I think that would... Um, and what about budget-wise? Uh, we, we have, um, according to the our DPW supervisor, that we have these 
funds secured, and we're able to make this, um, provided it's a reasonable, okay. reasonable purchase. Um, I believe it comes out of the maintenance account. Yep. Okay. The DPW. So we have motion, we have support on a postponing of what's set before us. So let's uh, let's take a roll call and be done. Chris Regan. Yes. Cindy Valentine. Yes. Mark Bouchard. Yes. Maureen Bory. Yes. Joanne Shirky. Yes. Christy Hillman. Yes. Okay. Motion is postponed. Next on the business is item 1B. It involves board discussion um, in terms of the North Channel, uh, the paving terms and the North Channel bridge terms. Um, and we also have the support of the letter of the township for this as well. So I will entertain a motion to discuss terms. I'll make a motion that uh, the board discusses the North Channel West paving terms and the North Channel West bridge terms. I'll support it. So we have motion and support. We've heard from the point man and or chair of the project. Uh, so we're going to, to bond this project out, right? No. We're not bonding. Okay. No. no. That's surety bond is what he was talking about. That's right. I wanted to ask how long you thought this would last because you know we're looking at 10 or 15 years so we want to know the longevity of the bridge and the paving. The existing paving that, oh sorry, I'll move over. Go ahead. Thank you. The existing paving that we have on the road was done approximately 20 years ago. Still viable, starting to fall apart, but still viable. Okay. The bridge was done at the same time. Uh, it's a little rougher shape, but it gets a whole lot more traffic um, because only half of the island is paved, the other half is gravel road. So the bridge gets it all. Um, so the, but what we're going to do to the bridge certainly should last 20 years or better, maybe okay. 30. And I would anticipate what we're doing to the existing road would be a minimum of 20 years and go from there. Okay. Uh, I asked for 20 years from Art and he said, uh, no. Uh, he said, I would go for 15 for whatever that's worth. I know he's not here, but if we could get 15, that'd be great. Okay. So, thank you. Before you sit down, was any part of that road or that bridge underwater with the high water over here? No. Okay. No. We, we had some... Yes, it was. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. I'm sorry. Yes. But we'll fill that. We'll raise that. We'll... we'll, well I was just thinking that that probably contributed to the deterioration of the road. Yeah, because it was, it was down by your house that... Yeah. 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 That's part of it. yeah. So that certainly that would have contributed to it. Concerning the uh, 15 or 20 year, I believe... Uh, the supervisor indicated that he had a meeting maybe with you and, and one of the contractors or the contractor and they did agree on 15 years was the max and that's why that came out to 15 years and not 20. Okay. Yeah. Well I had a three-way conversation with, well actually I was in the office of the contractor and we talked to Art and we were talking of 15 year but I don't know what his authority is uh, if, he has, if he has the authority to just Bless it, and it happens. Or you are you referring to our supervisor? Yes. Okay. Well, well it's up to the contractor. Yeah, right? he, he doesn't. <laughs> How about the supervisor? The contractor doesn't take the time here. It's a board You're decision. the bank. Yes. Right. That's correct. So it was Art that came up with that 15-year. Okay. Place or time period. I believe that the board, we somewhat discussed this when we did the first mm -hmm. the first resolution, when it was initially introduced to us that we thought 20 was a little bit beyond what we wanted to be, so then um, Sherry was kind enough to give us a breakdown or alternative between the 10 and the 15 years um, for each of those projects. So just as a board, we would have to determine whether we um, want to go 10 years or if we're willing to go 15. I would support breaking them 
into two pieces. I, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with um, putting X terms on the paving project and X terms on the bridge project. I think we should be looking at it differently, although if we come to the same agreement and they're both the same, then that's fine as well. But I don't think we have to, as a board, look at them together. No. I don't know how much extra work that is for us, but that's sort of irrelevant. That's, that's what we're doing right now. I was a little bit confused on um, the bridge versus the paving, because both of them say they're calculated on a total frontage. So we have different numbers for each parcel on the paving, but on the bridge we have the same numbers. Right. And the frontage is different, so. Right. The bridge um, was determined that we were, that was going to be spread, the assessment be spread on a per parcel basis. Okay. Because everybody receives the same benefit from using the bridge, whereas the paving is going to be on a front foot basis because the parcels, only a certain number are included in the paving, and oh. they get a benefit based on their frontage of property. I see that now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Front foot basis mm -hmm. versus per parcel basis. Right. Okay. And the only person you didn't reach was one that one parcel. Right. There's so no you pretty much have no big no favor. Sense. Everyone's mm -hmm. wanting yeah. to have it done. So. Right. Okay. Thank you. So if we painted with a, with a wide brush, it's safe to say that we have overwhelming support for both projects. Right. The paving received 100%, and the only reason that the bridge did not receive that because the one parcel, the amount of frontage that they have, you the percentage quite a bit. Okay. And that was opposed or did not respond? No response. No response. Yeah, so we have to take that as a no. I understand. But yeah, no response. Thank you, Assessor. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't know if we're looking at two separate projects and we're just looking at Michigan in general. It seems to me like the roads deteriorate at a faster rate than our existing bridges, viaducts, and overpasses. Uh, I'll just speak my piece and say that I'm in favor of maybe 10 on the paving because I think the road will last a minimum of 10 on the very low end, and I would support a 15 on the bridge, but I'm one of seven. So that's my initial, that's my initial gut Are you take on this. Going uh, to make that a motion? Yes. So I will make a motion that we treat the paving terms on the North Channel project at a 10 year, and we treat the bridge terms on the North Channel at a 15 year. That's my motion. I'll support it. So we have motion and support. Now we can open up for discussion and hear everybody else's opinion. So I know that we did not budget for any of these special assessments out of our general fund or any other fund during our current fiscal year budget process. So however we pay for this, our budget needs to be amended. When and will be we decreased by this. that amount mm -hmm. until we receive the collection of it. And so when I'm looking at the difference between, um, on the paving, the difference between 10 years and 15 years is a little more significant than it is 10 to 15 years on the bridge. And the bridge is two-thirds of the money. <clears throat> so, do you have a counter proposal? Well, you got to go with this motion first. Oh, yes. See. Yeah, so we have the opportunity to shut this motion down. We could, we could deny this motion and somebody could propose another motion or we could approve this motion and be done with this portion of it. Is it going to put us in a lot of hardship if we do 15 on both? Well, if we're considering 
if we're considering the paving and the bridge and then also our Jochar paving special assessment that we haven't had another public hearing for yet, I think we're looking at a total of about $300,000 out of our budget this fiscal year. Or, I mean, we're assuming it's going to happen in this before June 30th of next year. Right. Jochar may not. I mean, we haven't had the first public hearing on that one. Yeah, and we, we haven't had any kind of budget workshop to figure out what we're going to cut to make room for this. But in that in that term of relevance, you're talking more than 10% of our, our general, right? Well, not on general. I'm sorry. I got that mixed up. I revoke that question. Would it be appropriate for me to express an opinion, or can I express an opinion? Um, normally no, but given the situation, yeah, sure, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I understand your concept of the road deteriorating quickly. Yeah, or quickly, at a faster rate. But the, the historic venue of this road has been 20 years. The last time we paved it was 20 years ago. It's still a viable road. It's in rough shape but it's still a viable road. So that being said, if we look historically, the road's gonna last 20 years. If you can give me 15 on both of them, it, that would be better. It would be better for some of the people that are on the island that, on, in our area that are retired, fixed income, lower payments per month or per year, and, and help out in that respect. Yep. So that's, just, I'm looking at what we had, and it's still there, 20 years later. So, just something to consider. Could I say something? Too? Sure. Go ahead. Uh, I opened up the can of worms. So. I live on that road too. 20 years ago, we went to the same board and went through this. Yeah. And it was put on our taxes and everything, and everybody got paid. And it's pretty much all the same people there now. So. What were the terms 20 years ago? Who knows? 20, uh, <laughs> no, I, I, I have that information. I can look at I believe it was a 20 year term, was it not? Sherry? You, you know, would, I don't have the previous I, one with let, me. Let, let me do a little digging into the abyss. I can tell you. Okay. In your discussion with the other parcel owners, has anyone expressed that they would pay, pay their assessment off? In no, yes, there's a few people that would say, we're just, yes. just going to pay, we're not going to. We're, and, and I'm one of them that certainly may pay it off Same if here. my wife would stop spending money. She's um, <laughs> going back to work. <laughs> um, but yes, there, there are people that said, yeah, we're, we're just paying off at a lump sum. Could you haphazardly put a percentage on that? And, and of course, we could not. Not, not a much. large percent, two, three percent, not a large percent. We had a lot of older folks that live there. Yep. And that. Uh, are on fixed income. Fair enough. Thank you. Okay, so we have a motion on the table right now in support at 10 and 15. We have the chairperson uh, or point man, as he called himself, um, that is seeking 15 for both projects. So the first thing we have to do is we have to vote on the proposal set forward. And if you're leaning towards 15 together or different than that, then you just simply vote no. And if you support the 10 and 15 motion, then you vote yes. Right? That's what's said before us. So do you feel like we want a little bit more discussion before we take a vote? Mark, do you need any? No, I think, uh, you know, the, I believe the homeowners understand the 10 year versus the 15 year. Yeah. And, uh, you know, but do I, we understand I, it? I, I feel that they would probably want the 15 year, obviously, for the ones that aren't going to be paying on an annual basis. Uh, but I understand our position is the, the financial uh, fiduciary part of it, 10 year would be even better for us. But uh, let's take the uh, citizens concerned. Okay. I'm kind of leaning toward Christy because, you know, it's 40 bucks a month with or $30 a month on the bridge. 
and it's a bigger project, so kind of leaning that way. If we're going to go 10 and 15, I'd rather do the 10 on the bridge. It's only an extra, what, 10 or $15 a month. Okay. Did you, did you care to add anything? Uh, no. <laughs> Can we do a roll call? Sure. All right. Cindy Valentine, no. Mark Richard. First. Mark. Repeat the, repeat the motion. Uh, the motion in simple terms was uh, 10 year terms for the paving portion and 15 year terms for the bridge. No. Maureen Boring. No. Joanne Shirky. No. Christy Hilton. No. Chris O'Regan. Yes. So the motion is failed. Um, so we can either have more discussion or I will entertain a new motion. I'll make a motion to do 15 and 15. We have motion. We have support. Support. We have motion and support. Do we have discussion on the 15 and 15? I'm hearing no discussion. Roll call. Mark Bouchard. Yes. Maureen Borey. Yes. Joanne Shirky. Yes. Christy Hilton. No. Chris O'Regan. No. Cindy Valentine. Yes. That's a three to two. I'm sorry, four to two, right? Four to two. Motion passes. Fifteen and fifteen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you bet. Um, well, I believe, looking at our agenda sheet, we are down to board member comments. So, it's, maybe it's easiest if we start with you. Um, actually. All right, let's start with Cindy. Really have everything. I, I am attending a meeting tomorrow at the wastewater oh, for the wastewater treatment plant um, at the county, um, which is where I'll be able to run into Denise. So um, when I get information about the uh, estimate for the water plant, I will certainly send out an email and let you all know what I've done. Terrific. Thanks for doing it. You're welcome. Mark, board member comments? Yeah. Well, it's our second uh, visit over here. Bridges, or the bridge is backed up. The ferry is backed up. <laughs> it is. And, uh, it is. But uh, yeah, I'm glad to be here. I'm looking forward to the more information on the uh, water plant upgrade on the panel. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. Maury? I'm just looking forward to the sixth annual Scarecrow Fest. And just to mention, there are a lot of sponsorships open um, for those different events. So. Anybody wants to step up, I'm happy to hear from you. That's terrific. Joanne? All I can say is I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to have you. Glad to have you, Joanne. We missed you, Joanne. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a long haul, and it's not, not over yet. So I'll try to attend as many meetings as I can, that's for sure. That's terrific. Get this old thing doing what it's supposed to be doing. I feel like you make us stronger. Yeah. Thanks, Joanne. Thank you. Appreciate that. Christy? I uh, just want to let everyone know that we're in the beginning stages of prepping for the winter tax bills. So I just want to, I spoke about it before, I just want to reiterate that we have a mail slowdown. Um, so we usually have one day at the end of the year that we collect tax. Um, if you want your tax to be recorded as paid in 2021, so I just want everyone ahead of time to keep in mind that the mail is slow. Um, it's taking weeks to get to us from out of state. So, um, you know, there are online options and things like that, the Dropbox, that, that type of thing, um, instead of using the mail. Okay, um, I just wanted to reiterate again, our Scarecrow Festival is Saturday, October 30th. Uh, from noon to four, so we hope to have a good turnout there. And because we're into mid-October, I'm gonna make the plea that you do not veer for deer. Uh, I almost smoked one last night on Starville and Shea. It was 
like within three feet of taking out the front end of my truck. So somebody was looking after me, don't veer for deer. Entertain one more motion? Motion I, I, may I just add something to that? Sure. Since, you know, I haven't been back at my house for a long time. The deer think they own it. <laughs> <laughs> Are they eating you out of all your grass? Oh, yeah. It's, they keep the, well, you don't need a lawnmower? <laughs> I know. I think I'll fire those guys. Yeah. I support the motion. Minnie's adjourned.